I'm Miguel Garcia, and I have a video for Miguel Garcia for 143 people. Now there is something that has been plaguing my mind since the beginning of time. I've been wanting it for so long, and I just haven't gotten the chance to get it. And we'll get to it. I love Rosanna Pensino. She's queen, she's icon, and she's amazing, flawless, talented, everything. Everything. And I've always wanted to try her recipes when I was younger. Like, her peach covered with pie crust, her Mario cake, her Minecraft cake, her burger cake, her pizza cake, and her other pizza cake. And that's the one I really want to do. So I've made the very professional decision to make her pizza cake. I'm going to be following Rosanna Pensino's tutorial. There are tons of videos on how to make the pizza cake. Corinne from Threadbanger even tried it out. And she made the mistake of not adding enough of each ingredient. And I refuse to make that mistake. So I'm going to be making sure that I add as much as I can. Shane Dawson also tried the recipe and he, his was, ugh, it was pretty bad. It was raw. It was still raw. It was raw and burnt. I don't know how he managed to do that, but he did it. He was very happy and like, I guess that's all that matters. I, however, me, a 16 year old, is more advanced in baking than Shane Dawson will ever be. He's going through a tough time right now. I don't think I should joke about him. And I think I can do a better job than Shane Dawson. I don't think I can do a better job than Rosanna Pantino because, you know, icon queen. But I think I could do it. So let's go into the journey of making the pizza cake. I'm very excited to do this. I think I will be okay. Oh, also, I don't eat meat, so we're not adding pepperoni, so we're missing out on like a tiny step, but like, eh, okay. Let's begin. I'm gonna start off by preheating my mini toaster oven because I'm, I'm smart this time. Here are the ingredients you're gonna need and I'm watching Jenna Marbles because there's a chance she might never come back to you. You're gonna need some pizza crust, some pizza sauce, and some mozzarella cheese. I greased my pan. I just used butter because, you know, I didn't buy Pam. I'm not that smart. And this is the fun part and it's taking out the pizza crust. I like doing this because it's always different. It's a different experience every time I do this. An explosion like that would wipe out humanity and honestly it's needed at this point. Unroll it like a rug onto your grease pan and cut off the exit. Honestly, later you're gonna see why this is pointless because I just ended up using a round tin pan, whatever. I'm only doing this because Rosanna Pancino told me to do this and I only listened to our lord and savior Rosanna Pancino. You put it into the oven, but then I decided to take off the bottom rack because stupid, but then this is stupid. I put it on the bottom rack and then I was like, mm, never mind. And then I just changed it to the top rack, so... You know, just the redundancy of it all. This this is dumb. These cook pretty quick, so this is what it looks like. I know, it has a nice brown and it does look like pizza crust. When you flip it, it doesn't really look cooked, but I assure you it is cooked. I ate it and I got salmonella, so it's cooked. Then I greased the, the cake tin and this is what it looks like. Slap on a piece of dough in there and then you just mold it into your circular round piece. And you can put that in the oven and cook it. And again, these cook pretty quickly, so like, be prepared. Slap it onto the other pizza crust. It got stuck. No, it got stuck. Dang. Okay, and here, here's what it looks like now. I'm gonna use this to cut off the excess of the other one. And now you just rinse and repeat. I only have one cake pan, so I have to make these one at a time. But like, it worked out. This ended up being a really janky piece, and it was made out of a ton of the leftovers and cut off pieces, so it looks really wonky, but like, hey twins. Then they put the last one in the oven and it was beginning to shape up. Take this strip and wrap it around like this. I don't know, Rosanna Pancino, I'm following her tutorial. I did have an accident with tomato sauce and it looks like I perioded it all over the table and I don't want my parents to think that I'm a female, even though many kids thought I was a female for most of my childhood. Sigh. And then you can begin layering on. This is the very exciting, this is very fun. Just put one layer and then you slap tomato sauce on them. I always get annoyed with beauty gurus and they're like, okay, now I added the cheese. And screw that, I add a ton of cheese. Like, why, what is up with this? You're eating a pizza cake. Might as well be a fat ass. You know that scene in friend when um, they're having a girls night and Rachel was like no that's not what we ordered we ordered a fat free crust with extra cheese like that's how I feel about this like just be as fat as you want to like who cares this is for yourself also Phoebe is a national treasure and should be preserved at all costs well I don't think I had enough room but I made it work so this is what it looks like and I'm taking the sides in and pinching it together I'm very happy about what this looks like it looks like what it's supposed to look like I don't have a spring form pan so I'm not sure how I'm gonna get this out Hopefully it'll work out. We put this in the oven and- Ooh. Ooh. 
I get it. That was annoying, but can you blame me? Look at it. It's beautiful. I mean, it's a little burnt on one side, but besides that, it is stunning, and I managed to get it out. What I did was, like, I flipped it over, and uh, you don't need a spring form pan to do this, guys. Don't worry. You don't gotta waste, like, $15 on that spring form pan from Michael's. It is doable. I'm so happy with it. It's beautiful. Like, look at it. That's what it's supposed to look like. I mean, mine isn't as perfect as Rosanna Pansino's, but we are on a budget, and I don't know. Slice into it, and it's a little hard to slice into. She a tough little girl. She was like, oh no, bitch, you ain't gonna slice into me that easily. Or maybe it was just my dull ass knife because all the dishes were dirty, so I could not slice into it. Or maybe I'm just weak. It was the knife, I swear. It looks a little bit like lasagna. Lasagna pizza. Now that's an idea. Uh, I'm so happy to try this. I'm Miguel Garcia, and I got a the food review by Miguel Garcia. So, uh, we out, um, um, all the forks and are dirty, so I'm just gonna use my hands. But look at it. Oh, th that side, look at it, it's what it's supposed to look like. Let's try it. Mm. Yeah. It's so good. I'm gonna cry. This is all I've ever wanted in my mm. 10 out of 5, this is incredible. Mm -hmm. uh, am I wearing the same shirt? Yes. Have I been wearing the same shirt for four days in a row? No. Get your mind out of the gutter. Stop judging me. I've been wearing this shirt for five days in a row. So like, calm down. So yes, this was actually an incredible project. I really enjoyed doing this and I might do it again because I, it came out pretty nice and I would ask for this for my birthday. I want to make it again for somebody, but in like a rectangular pan so like it can be bigger and serve for more people. Let me show you how it's looking. You think we haven't eaten it? Yes, we have. There's half of it's gone. And it's cold now so you can hold it like this. There are things I would change about it. Oh, it smells so good. I could just... This is the cross section. Obviously the ugly layer did that to it. <laughs> it messed the whole pack, but it's okay. I still love you. Mwah. Things I would change about it is um, on the very bottom layer, add like another layer of dough because this happens, which I mean, it's still good. It's not like completely, wow, that looks awful on camera. It's not that bad in real life, calm down. It's pretty good. But like just add another layer of dough because the already made dough will burn. But everything came out perfectly and I honestly was impressed at how easy this recipe was. Rosanna Pensino, thank you queen. If Rosanna Pensino ever sees this, you created this monster. It's also incredibly annoying because my brother and my mom can't have any of it because I, this is for a video. This is for educational purposes, people. This is all for the video. And I tell them that, that you can't eat it until I show it off on the camera. After this video, we can finish this. So let's, let's maybe wrap this up, Karen. Or I could just say, oh, we ran out and eat it myself. Gotta say, I wasn't, I didn't think it would actually turn out this well. I thought I would like mess it up, but no, no beach, I did it. Uh, Rosanna Pensino. All rise for Rosanna Pensino. Amazing rest. I share, I'm gonna miss you. No, where were we? In case you're wondering how my mind is, that's it. So I think that just about does it for this week's video. I'm sorry this week's video is a little short, but I think a short video is better than no video. <coughs> I just scared my bunny. Thank you so much for watching this video because I don't know why you wouldn't enjoy watching this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe because I'm very, very desperate. And I'll see you all in the next one. Rosanna Pancino. Rosanna Pancino. <laughs> this is weird. If she ever saw this video, she'd probably think I was a freak. Okay, bye.